Okay, and welcome students that are taking Math for Business and Finance and Math Applications. Um, we're going to be working on the Chapter 5 word problems, the odd number problems, and all three sets, meaning that uh, there was three sets. And just like I had said in the drill problems, um, I'm combining them all together. As So set 1, set 2, and set 3 are all part of these videos for the word problems instead of going from drill problem to word problem, drill problem, word problem, drill problem, word problem. I'm just doing all of the word problems together. Okay, so we're going to end up jumping in numbers, you know, uh, between the different sets. Uh, the other thing here is now this is going to start getting a lot more complicated. Okay, so uh, just be prepared that these um, the workings of the problems are going to be a little bit slower. Uh, because we'll have to define relationships, uh, and you'll see that as we go along. So just be prepared. If you don't understand something and you're not sure, rewind, watch the video again. If you still have a question, you know, feel free to telephone or contact an instructor, and we'll go over it with you. All right, let's move on. Come on. Move on. All right, there we go. And let me get the pen. Okay, so... Word problem 5-11. Lee and Fred are elementary school teachers. Fred works for a charter school in Pacific Palisades, California, where class size reduction is a goal for 2013. All of that information has probably has no bearing whatsoever, all the way up to that point. Okay. Um, except for, no, Fred works for a charter school. Now, Lee works for a non-charter school where funds do not allow for class size reduction policies. Okay, that's interesting. All right, Lee's fifth grade class has 1.4 times as many students as Fred's. All right, so that's all of that right there is pretty important. If there are a total of 60 students, how many students does Fred's class have? And how many students does Lee's class have? All right, so we're into problem solving here, all right? And what we have to do is we have to translate the English into mathematical equations. And to do that, you have to get accustomed to what a lot, some of the words mean here, okay? So first up, all right, um, I'm usually looking for an equal sign somewhere and some kind of total amount. And it's telling us if there are a total of 60 students. So I know that from reading the problem, I'm going to have Fred, Fred plus Lee is going to equal the total of the students, right? And it's telling us the total of the students is going to be 60. Right? But now, remember I had said this is about setting up a relationship. It's not as simple as saying um, Fred and uh, Fred plus Lee is equal to the to total students. It isn't as simple as going, um, let's call this, let's just as an example here, it's not simple as saying these are Fred's students plus these are Lee's students is equal to 60. Okay, that would give us 2s is equal to 30. I'm sorry, is equal to 60, and s would equal 30. It's not that simple. Um, the reason why it isn't that simple is because there is a relationship between Fred and Lee. It says here. Lee's fifth grade class has 1.4 times as many, 1.4 times as many students as Fred's. Okay. Well, if Lee is Lee is equal to 1.4 times Fred, right? What we do is we sit there and uh, assign a a variable to Fred, and I like using X I most of the time. I could have used S for students. I could have used N or D. It doesn't really matter. A variable is a variable, right? But I'm, I generally have a tendency to set the variables to X. So we're going to say, well, if, you know, X is represented by the number of students for Fred, right? And Lee is 1.4 times Fred, okay? So Lee has to be 1.4, and if we say Fred is X, then it's 1.4X. That's the that's what Lee has, okay? And that's the relationship. Fred is X, 
and Li is 1.4x. So we know that we're going to have Fred's students plus Li's students equal the total number of students. So I have 1.4x for Li plus x for Fred is equal to 60. And that's the equation, that's the setup of the problem. And now from here on out, all it is is just doing the math like we did um, in the, you know, in this chapter and, you know, in the drill problem exercises, okay? And following all of those rules. So with all of that said, let me rewrite this here. And no, I'll do it this way. I have 1.4x plus x is equal to 60. Now, I'm combining like terms. I have 1.4x plus x. Now, remember, that means that's like a plus 1x, right? Plus x is the same as plus 1x. Why? Because 1 plus 1 times x is still x. Right? Any number times 1 is, is that number. So this is kind of understood to be a plus 1x. So if I have 1.4x and I understand that this is a plus 1x, well, a 1.4 plus 1 is 2.4x is equal to 60. And now we can divide both sides because we're multiplying here. Well, what I do for one side, we do for the other. So I divide both sides by 2.4 this cancels out so I'm left on the left hand side with an X and on the right hand side I have 60 divided by 2.4 and that makes uh, that makes Fred let's see X is equal to 25 okay let me just quickly double check that divided by 2.4 yep 25 Okay, so we know that Fred, get a different color here, we know that x is equal to 25, so we know that's how much Fred is. Fred is 25. Well, Lee is 1.4 times the 25, so Lee has 1.4 times the 25, which ends up being uh, 35 for Lee. Okay. Now, we knew that Fred plus Lee is equal to the total number of students, so if Fred is 25 plus Lee of being 35, and that should equal 60, okay, well, my double check is 60 is equal to 60, so I know that my x is correct, okay? All right. If you have any questions, re, you know, rewatch, uh, you know, rewind and watch the video again. But I'm going to just kind of try to go over it again real quick here. Um, like I said, this is going to take a lot longer uh, to do these problems. And um, like, for example, this one here, I'm just going to get done with this one problem for this particular video. So uh, you can either stop here and move on to the next ones or you can watch the end of this video as soon as I get this all erased. Right, come on, mouse. All right, let's see here. Yeah, there we go. Okay, come back here. All right, when I was reading the problem, Fred works for a charter school where class size reduction is the goal. Lee works for a non-charter school where funds do not allow for class size reduction. Right. Lee's fifth grade class, Lee, his fifth grade class has 1.4 times as many students as Fred, times the student, Fred's students. Right. If there are a total of 60, now a total is, is represented by equal, all right? And if there's a total of 60, that means we're taking Lee plus Fred, and we're setting that total, Lee students per, plus Fred students, to 60. Okay. Well, if Lee is 1.4 times Fred's, all right, then what I want to do is I want to set Fred, all right, and let's, instead of using X, I'm going to use S this time. Oops, write that a little bit better. 
um, we're going to say Fred's we're going to set him as we're going to set his students as s for students and we know that lee his is 1.4 times fred's so 1.4 s okay you can write it that way also because 1.4 times the quantity s and we know that adding them both together will give us 60. so if i have lee which is 1.4 s and i'm adding it to fred which is s and that gives me a total of 60. now all i need to do is just you know add the terms up so i end up with 2.4 s and that equals 60. and in order to isolate the s i divide both sides by 2.4 they cancel out so s ends up equaling ends up equaling 25. Now, now remember the s is equal to 25 right that's fred right and lee his is 1.4 times s so 1.4 times 25 is equal to 35. okay so that's lee and our initial assumption here was Lee plus Fred is equal to 60. So my double check here is Lee is 35 plus Fred is 25, and that should equal 60. And of course, 60 does equal 60. So I know that um, my S, the number of students, is correct to 25. Okay. All right. If you have any questions, feel free to, you know, telephone or, or email us, all right? And we'll move on to the next video in 5-13.